Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google recently launched Gemini 3, and most of their products have started integrating it slowly and steadily. I have already covered Gemini CLI, anti-gravity, and other stuff, and all of them are good in their own right. But they have also now integrated it into Firebase Studio. If you don't know about Firebase Studio, it used to be called Project IDX at first. It was basically a VS Code interface on the web with a small VM. It was then expanded to have AI features in it as well, which gave it a lot of value. But it then expanded into being Firebase Studio, which slapped a vibe coding interface on top of it for people who didn't want to see code or anything. However, you could still open up the VM and work on it directly. It was not very well received due to multiple factors, including the fact that it was quite buggy. Plus, when it came out, the models from Google weren't really good, which made the whole experience not so appealing. But now, Google has a really solid model that you may know called Gemini 3 Pro. I'd say that if you're just a vibe coder, spinning up some simple tools here and there, then it can be one of the best models. It can make great and sensible front ends, which helps you make good vibe coded tools because most of them rely on good looks rather than complex stuff. If you do want to go complex, then vibe coding is obviously not the way to go, but it is still a good option to make MVPs. Anyway, now Gemini 3 Pro has been integrated into Firebase Studio and it obviously remains free. So you can actually get insane results with it now. I thought I'd give you guys a recap on how to use it and its new features, specifically with Gemini 3 Pro. To start, you'll have to head on over to the Firebase Studio site, and here you'll see this interface. If you have used it or Project IDX before, then it remains actually very similar to before. You have this AI prompt box where you can enter what you want it to create and so on. This will make it behave like the other AI vibe coding platforms, like Lovable. But the issue is that I cannot confirm if it uses the new Gemini 3 model here or not. So, to be sure, what we can do is start a project first using a template that is shown here. Here, you have a ton of types of projects to use. You can use Next.js, Angular, Vue, Svelte, Android, Flutter, and almost all kinds of stuff. It includes mobile app frameworks, which is quite awesome. Anyway, let's go on with Next.js for a simple demo here. Once you click it, it will ask you to name your project. You can name it anything based on what you want to make. Keeping everything else as default is generally fine. So keep that as is and it will take a bit to commission you a VM. It will open up a VS Code interface on the web, and then you can start using it. So it is just like VS Code, and you can install extensions and make it your own. But that's not relevant right now. So, on the right, you can see these options. If we click on the Gemini icon, then it opens up this. This is quite similar to Gemini Code Assist, if you have used that, it is quite like any agentic AI coder. You can select between three options, which are chat, agentic, and agentic auto run. Chat just allows you to chat with the model about your code base. It only has read permissions. Agentic allows it to edit files, create files, and everything like any AI coder. But you'll need to approve each step. Whereas with agentic auto run, it auto-approves all actions, allowing you to navigate away from the tab or desktop and come back to a finished task, which is quite awesome. Besides this, you also get the MCP servers option. Here, you can set up the MCPs that you want to use. You can disable them, enable them, add them, and do everything accordingly. Besides this, you also get the models option. Here, you can select the model that you want to use. If you're not using your own API key, 
then it automatically switches between the best ones, which includes Gemini 3 Pro. But if you use your own API key, then you'll get SureShot access to it. So there's that. You can also attach anything you want to it. So if you want to attach a project requirement document or something, then that can be done as well. You can also type the at symbol to add files to the prompt and focus its context to that file. There are also the slash commands, which include ask, clear, and generate. Ask will allow you to only ask within the agent mode, while clear will clear the context, and generate will generate a code snippet based on your prompt. Now, some more things that you can do with it are that you can just go to any file, and it will give you autocomplete suggestions, which is pretty good. But you can also select chunks of code and do some actions on them. So you can ask it to explain selected code, add comments, generate unit tests, and so on. You can also make it add comments for code or take it to the Gemini chat and then ask for changes and something along those lines. You can also start an inline chat and ask for changes inline, and it will rewrite that snippet of the code. You can also use their non-IDE interface to do vibe coding with it. It doesn't allow you to set a specific model, and it chooses on its own, but it does indeed use Gemini 3 when it needs to, which is kind of cool for sure. So there's that. I like both of them, and it works really well. I think Google should give more care to Firebase Studio, as it feels more and more neglected these days, and it has not really been getting any good updates. It seems that they are moving towards giving more love to the Google AI Studio build option. But I think Firebase Studio is much better than that, considering you get a VM and everything. I won't be surprised if this turns out to be something like the anti-gravity cloud or something. I mean, it's quite possible. So there's that. I thought I'd tell you guys about Firebase Studio as well, as it now comes with Gemini 3 support. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.